Is there a word for your emotions, mood, watching all of this? Uh, yeah. Um, I, am, I, I think I alternate between furious and astounded. Um, I really, I, I am stunned by this. And, and I'll tell you something else that stuns me. A year, a little over a year ago, the financial institutions, well, let's face it, they were insolvent. They were, they were crashing over the edge. They turned to the American taxpayer. We did something we have never done before, not at that level, not with those kinds of numbers. And we bailed them out. And right now, right here on, in Washington, those same financial institutions are spending huge amounts of lobbying dollars to hit the senators and the congressmen and the congresswomen every single day because they still want to be the ones who are writing the rules, the big financial institutions. They want the status quo. They don't want changes that would cause them to have to alter their business plan. They like a business plan in which they keep all the profits and the taxpayers pick up all the losses. Uh, before our next call, the, uh, another message since you've taken this job. Every time I've heard you speak, you have been critical of the level of transparency. Yes. Why is it that the, a year plus into this that the government can't tell Americans effectively how their money's being spent? All right, so, so first I want to be fair because you have to be fair. When we started with Secretary Paulson 14 months ago, I couldn't get him to answer the phone. Uh, we couldn't get him to appear in front of us in, at a hearing. We couldn't get any explanation of what was going on. Uh, I, I really was. I felt like somebody on the outside, you know, pounding on doors that were locked and nobody was listening. Then we kind of hit a second phase, and that was the new administration came in, and they said, we want to help, but it was hard to find anyone. There was a lot of chaos, not very many people, but a little bit of information began to trickle out. We're now in a third phase, and there is more information. And so I, there's a website. There's a website. There are things you can see. We have clearer information flows, but still not enough information. You know, the Treasury and, and the Federal Reserve really seem to believe they can operate behind closed doors. And, you know, maybe they can do that in good times. No one asked before. But they have a long history of operating largely in secret. But these are not ordinary times. When they turn to the American people and say, give us $700 billion of your money to spend however we want to spend it, um, to get that kind of discretion means they have to be willing to be completely open about how they're spending the money. Buford, South Carolina.